Hi, welcome to this video on Microsoft SQL covering the replace function and how we can use this function to calculate how many times a letter appears in a piece of text. So the replace function um, kind of does what it says. Um, you use it to replace letters in a piece of text with another letter or maybe pieces of uh, text with something else. So if, as an example here, um, I've got two columns being returned by this script and um, it returns the name and it returns the length of the name. So what I want to do here is I want to say um, replace. Um, it says to me what text are you interested in, in, in looking at to do the replacement. It's my FT name column. Um, what do you want us to replace? I want anywhere it says end. I want you to replace it with start. And if I execute that, you will see that here a claimed contend has the word end in. And when I do my replace, end has been replaced with start. So instead of it being a claimed contender, it's a claimed con starter. Okay, that's kind of what it is in this example. You replace one bit of text with another bit of text within a bit of text now what we can maybe do here is we'll say i want to replace um the spaces i don't want to i don't want to see any spaces in this text so i can put a space and then as my replacement is going to be an empty text um, field there and that returns that without any spaces. You can see that. And you can maybe use that to say, I wonder how long this field is without spaces. So I can, if I just copy that, I can wrap that whole thing around, I can wrap a length around that whole thing there and it will return the length of this. So abundant growth is 15 characters but without the space it's 14 characters and if we look down here Abbott the Carol Keep is 19 characters and if we get rid of the spaces it's 16 characters. Now what we can do with that is we can say I want to know how many spaces are in this field here. So what we can say is surely the the amount of spaces can be calculated by saying how big was it and then when you get rid of the spaces how big is it now? So if we say, get me the length of my field, and we take away the length of the field and the spaces have been removed, that should give us um, the amount of spaces. So in here, um, one space, for this one here, there's two spaces, and sure enough, that's two and three spaces. Um, I know that the result of len is going to return a number. So here, this, the return of this function here minus the return of this function here will work because this result will be a number, this result will be a number, so I can do a minus um, to calculate uh, one number minus another number and that will work fine. Um, I don't have to do spaces though. Imagine I wanted to know how many times the letter T were in this uh, string. So if I get rid of my space and I put a T, and so I'm saying, okay, replace any T's with nothing, with just an empty bit of text, then if I run that, there are two T's in here apparently. Yep, there's two T's. There's one T in here, yep, there's no T's here. Um, so you can see now that the amount of T's that's the end of this video. I hope you find it helpful.